Just east of San Francisco, the open landscape is dominated by more than 5,000 wind turbines. The Altamont Pass is also a prime habitat for the majestic bird its admirers call the lion of the sky. The golden eagle, a bird so valued that U.S. law punishes anyone who disturbs them with heavy fines and even prison. Yet in just this area last year, at least 2,000 golden eagles and other protected raptors were killed by turbine blades. One clear evidence that so many eagles are using this place are feathers. So Wildlife biologist Doug are... Bell says when the first turbines were erected here in the 1980s, no one realized the deadly toll they would take. The U.S. government has granted wind farm operators short-term permits to allow a small number of accidental killings. But a court recently rejected a 30-year permit that wouldn't require any assessment of the environmental impact. As older models like these are mothballed and dismantled, companies are working on newer versions that are bigger and yet safer. Hundreds of old turbines will be replaced here by 48 new machines, producing twice as much energy, enough to completely power Google's corporate headquarters nearby. The new towers stand tall enough for the birds to avoid their blades as they swoop down on their prey. Studies have shown that the death rates have been lowered substantially. Um, whether they've been lowered enough to where they're at the point of population stability, um, for instance, for golden eagles, um, we don't really know yet. Another alternative yet to be tested is a turbine housed inside a metal shroud that could further reduce the risk to birds. And then there's this experiment launched by Google, small-scale wind turbines attached to tethers that carry the converted wind power to the ground. You're actually generating energy flying this kite in a circle. It seems too good to be true, but it's actually working. The tethers, though, may pose an added risk to birds who already die in the millions each year from hitting communications towers along their migration paths from North to South America. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Altamont Pass, California.